another video but first let's start this video off with a prayer and today's prayer is dear God I come before you today surrendering myself to you and giving you full permission to do as you see fit for my betterment and my purpose help me work on letting go of all the things that are preventing me from growing every day that I wake up I want to be the best version of myself without you guiding me that is impossible I acknowledge your authority and power. I willingly accept your presence in my life and I submit myself to you. I'm ready for this new journey with you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So I pray that prayer blesses you guys today. And if you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So I'm so glad you clicked on this video. I'm happy you guys are here. Actually, for the past few days, I have not been filming. Remember, I've been telling you guys that the schedule for this month is not going to be the same. Just trying to catch up on life and recovery. Um, everything was kind of turned upside down. You know, the kids are still home. They go back to school on Wednesday. They're trying to give people a chance to get their life together. Not life together, but at least, you know, make sure everyone has power, water. Some kids have been displaced, so they're trying to take care of everyone before they open up school and making sure school is good before the kids go back. But I've been enjoying the time that I got to spend with my kids. During this time, they were supposed to have a fall break, so it kind of all worked out um, well, so they gave the kids some extra time that they also did not have to worry about any um, schoolwork or anything like that. But, but for the past few days, I have been at church, y'all. So while we were gone to Virginia because of the hurricane, um, our church was giving out, you know, supplies to the community. Now, they did one. They got some supplies. They ran out pretty quickly. And the need was great, you know. they After the first one, they got a ton of donations. So they did another one. And they ran out again. So they did another one the third time. Um... And that was the day we got back, so I wasn't able to participate. And they they had a lot of supplies. The more they do it, the more supplies pe people are sending and donations they're sending. So they're doing more, and then they did it three times. I'm like, Lord, if they do it again, I am going to help as much as possible. Put me in a position to be of some use and help. Sure enough, they did it again. They had some more supplies, and y'all. Okay, so the supplies they got in, my friend Angelique and I spent two days, 12 hours on the first day, 14 hours on the second day at church. The first day, one, that's a lot of supplies were coming in. We were organizing everything, diapers, toiletries, cleaning. We were doing all the things. I spent the entire day there. Then the second day, uh, we got there early. They got four truck fulls, like big 18 wheel truck full of supplies. It is such a blessing. It comes from other towns, from other churches all across the US. And one of them were from an apple orchard in New York. And the entire truck was full of apples. So they gave everyone apples. They're asking everyone in the community to come get apples. I brought some ap apples home and I brought a lot. So last night I made some apple butter for the first time. Uh, you guys, if you follow me on TikTok, Instagram, you probably already seen that. But the, when that day we spent 14 hours there, because yesterday I had to recover. I could barely walk. We organized, we put 40, it was 40 pallets of apples. Um, we put as much as we could in bags and to give them out. And it's like this long car line that was never ending, you guys. It was so long, but so many people are in need. So many people showed up with their car was pretty messed up from trees falling on it, windows crush the trees and stuff but it was still working people need cars around here augusta if you don't have a car it's pretty hard around here because everything is so far away um but it was so much we were able to give out we gave out not just apples but also toiletries food we made a lot of food bags um diapers formula we were angelique and i were organizing all of the formulas and baby food that were received so you know like the gentle uh formula sorry i get distracted by cars going by gentle formula that different brands could you ask them what kind of formula your kids need or whatever we organized everything all the diapers and wipes well the diapers by sizes and things like that and by brands we 
had toiletries organized all of that they got paper towels toilet paper uh, ice water cases of water my kids were able to serve as well they were giving stuff out destiny was in charge of um babysitting the little ones while the parents were out there giving stuff out but we literally spent a lot of time doing that and i was it, I was I felt blessed like to be able to do it I was tired by the end of the day but I left from there with my heart so full I even cried a few times because this is one older lady I asked her what does she need because she wasn't gonna be able to make it to the drive because it started at a certain time I asked her what does she need she had four grandkids and no she had five grandbabies they were all boys in a car and one of them was a baby she said I, she said i need diapers and i was able to go get her some diapers but then she started to cry and if i'm the type of person are you guys the same if someone cries then i cry you know so i started crying too just thinking about it i i got emotional because she kept hugging me and crying and i'm like i'm like oh my god you're about to cry so i started crying um but so many people are in need to her, this is my first hurricane ever, so it causes so much devastation. It's not just, okay, it's gone now, everything's back to normal. It's not. Cleanup is getting done. Not everyone has power, not everyone has water. Their house is destroyed, so they're being displaced. Um, some have even lost their jobs. They were not able to work. People are in need, you know? Um, so that's where my focus was. It wasn't on filming. It was on serving and if lord the good lord blesses us again to be able to do another recovery relief to give back i'm definitely going to be there and help as much as i can i did ask god this past summer to put me where he needed me to be where i could be the most used and if i can help i will definitely be doing that uh with even if it means cutting back on youtube videos but i feel like this is where I needed to be at the time i actually got to meet some of you guys i was so happy when i saw y'all y'all was yelling my name out they're like is that you that's me girl i'm so happy i was able to give you guys a hug i love hugging people i'm an introvert but i don't know what it is when i see you guys and you tell me you're you my subscriber i was like i get so happy y'all so thank you for stopping by i'm so happy that i got to see y'all shout out to y'all uh i got to meet quite a few of you guys i was so surprised and i think you guys were surprised too so um that was another blessing that I got to meet some of you guys. So some of y'all just told me, told me y'all just got power back and some have not yet. So they're sad. But my friend and I, we were busy at church, y'all. We was dead the entire day. And then it started. I had to leave because I couldn't even walk anymore. I was literally crawling. I, I was sitting down on the concrete to rest my feet and it wasn't doing much. So I went home and that was around 830 at night. So it was, that's what I've been up to, you guys. I've been at the church. And if they do another one, you best believe I'm going to be there. You know, there's a lot of things that has to be done. The backyard is is pretty clean. So not pretty clean. We still have the tree in the backyard. But we cleaned the area so we can at least go in the backyard. Right now in Augusta, we're having a very bad mosquito problem. I am bit up right here. I am bit up. I guess with hurricanes, mosquitoes come with it too. I don't know if that's a thing. But it's a lot of them. So the city uh, officials have been having trucks going around spraying because people are getting bit up right now. But I saw this thing and I did, took a screenshot and I wanted to share it with you guys. So I saw someone post this and I'm like, this is so true. So it says, long before Hurricane Helene existed, God told us a few things about storms. One, storms change everything. Some for the better, some for worse. But storms bring change. You get to decide for better or worse. Storms bring perspective. What once seemed like a big deal seems petty in light of the challenge ahead. Three, storms reveal priorities. What is really important to you surfaces, food, water, family, liquor, self, etc. Four, every storm impact is not the same on every person. Storms reveal character. For some, they rise to the generosity and grace in serving everyone. For others, the selfishness and thinking they have a right to take from others is revealed. Storms produce endurance. Waiting on electricity, storms reveal the heart and how little we like to be inconvenienced. 
Storms grow grit and rebuild and build resilience. But don't think for a minute storms aren't allowed by God for the sole reason of producing in people character that reflects him. Storms reveal who you are and lets everyone else see. So I saw that and I saw, I, I'm like, oh my God, that is so very true. Um, some people took this opportunity to price gouge. So many things are higher prices now. Um, not just in stores and restaurants. So it's, been, it's a lot going on. The crime rate has also slightly going, gone up as well. You know, some people take advantage of others. Some people are buying up some supplies and then doubling or tripling the, pri the, the price like um, generators and stuff like that when people are mostly in need. And that makes me so sad. I also wanted to say that I am praying for everyone in Florida. It's like these storms are coming back to back like right one after the other um i think it started off as a category five i think so and then it went down to a two but i'm glad it's gone but this has been so much devastation and so many people also here from florida as well um but i have been praying vigorously for you guys um and keep you in prayer for not just the people that went through helene but also the people now that went through milton um so lately, you guys, my heart has been so heavy lately. Um, but I wanted to do a video just to sit down and just catch up with you guys. I also, in the last video, told y'all that I wanted to update you guys with mom. My mom sent me a few clips, quite a few clips to share with you guys. She was visiting her friends and um, she spent some time at this ranch that grows tobacco. And she sent them to me because you guys love when my mom sent clips. So I'm going to share them here so you guys can enjoy it. Apple, the town that I used to be, you remember, my friend? This is a whole cow. The whole cow. I don't know if it's a whole cow, but I know it's a cow. It's like a halfway. This is my friend, Pana. She's cooking. I met her here not too long ago. See, and I found her cooking for big, big people, for like 20 people. Yeah. She's gonna make some rice and yuca, and I'm gonna let you know what things going on. Hello, 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 everyone. Hi, Yesenia. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm gonna explain to you a little bit about this video. I'm in my town in with my friend's house and she cooking for a group of people from, it's a tobacco company from Dominican Republic. This is a big group. They come in from all over the Dominican Republic and different country to, uh, they have a plantation, like a tobacco plantation. And it is a big company. It's not tobacco right now, they create, you can see. It's a big, big company. My friends, she cooked for them. And I'm coming over here to help, help her to cook and serve, serve food. I'm sorry if you can hear the music. Uh, it's not control, I can have no control. You can see far away the plantation. It's a tobacco, big famous tobacco plantation. And let me see if you can see better. Let me show you. It's kind of shiny because the sun. Hold on. Uh, they are all over the country, Dominican Republic, uh, on the tobacco plantation. Look at them. They come from La Romana, Constanza, Dominican Republic, and they get in together over here, and my friend cooked for them. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna see if everyone wanna say hello. Because I, I asked for permission to record this video and they say they give me the okay. Can anybody say hello? Everybody say hello, hola. Hola, that's going to YouTube. It's a lot of people from it's a ta tobacco plantation. You can see the sea. My friend cooks a lot of food and this is nice salad. She cooks a day. 
Yeah. Yeah. They make uh, chicken. Look at this. Look at this. This is the cow. They kill a cow. This is like it. And every I look, they look happy. Everybody look happy and no more hungry. Drinking beer. Allá, allá donde, donde el está. Había unos tigres tirando a la gente de nosotros. Qué suave, Senia. This is some academia tree. They have it over here. I never see a, a whole uh, a tree, the macadamia tree, and they have only one tree in this plantation. Oh my God! And they say it's, they can it's slow growing, but they conserve it like it something really. Ay, ay, ay. They have coconut tree, avocado, and they have, ¿cómo se llama? Cacahuate, ¿cómo? El cacahuate es maní. Maní, sí, es colen. Yeah, it's a big plantation. It's huge. But I'm surprised they have a macadamia tree over here. They are removed from one place and planted over here. This is brand new. This is really nice. Look at this, how they came up. They have it. They use a motorcycle. And look at this. These are rich people from the tobacco plantation. These are people from everywhere, from United States, Canada, and they get in together and they stay in a hotel all night long for a couple of time or for certain amount of time they f they feed in themselves right now they full of uh, food and they pay for to my friend she cook big things of food and they're so happy they drinking and but very soon I think everybody leaving to the hotel and until tomorrow maybe next week sometime they are spend in the town uh, my town is Dominican Republic, San Juan de la Maguana, Dominican Republic. And sometimes they come over here, they spend a, a week or sometimes two weeks, depend on the situation, or their situation, or the tobacco plantation or situation. You can see all the way. I never see a tobacco plantation right now. I think it's, they start growing. Uh, they, uh, hey, see, it's no tobacco, they don't have no tobacco right now. I think the plantation is, is everything is new. Yeah, everything is new. You can see it's so far away. This is in my, in my town, San Juan de la Maguana, Dominican Republic. And all of this is a plantation of tobacco. The tobacco is for all over the country for worldwide. This tobacco is international tobacco. They export to different country. It's very high quality tobacco. Yes. There's only thing I can show you for today. I came in to my friend's house this afternoon and I found her cooking big things of food and she explained to me and then I helped her to bring the food over here and they pay her for this. Yeah, it's a really, really nice place. This one is raining hard. <laughs> Most of the people have to stop. Yeah, they can't leave because it's a heavy rain. As you can see, everybody is coming back. <laughs> Everybody stay because it's raining. They drive a motorcycle, jeep, four by four. Hello. Why 
soy para esta para que la vea. Tenemos nuestro jefe, el patrón. Ese es para. Export banana o import banana. Let me see. Oh, green banana. This is green banana from where? De dónde es? Mao. Oh, from Mao, Dominican Republic. Para exportación. To export, to go outside uh, Dominican Republic. Yeah. Sí. It's going to YouTube. Hey, hi to you people, YouTube. Tobacco plantation people. As you can see, they are smoking real tobacco. They are smoking real tobacco from Dominican Republic. They are real good tobacco. Yes. I just see my friend, she's the boss. She's the boss. Everybody's leaving, the rain is stopping. They have a very high quality motorcycle, as you can see. So they go all the way on the top of the mountain. In different place. They have to be careful. Yeah, they leave it right now. enjoyed this video i wanted to do a video update for you guys and also share the clips that my mom has sent me when she also sent me clips often but what she do i like to share them with you guys and y'all always asking about her and would love to see what she is up to i'm actually going to edit this video and then start a new one um i'm going to run errands today as a matter of fact i'm going to have a girl day with my daughter i'm looking forward to it we like to go out and just do things. We have not done that in a long time. I promised her I was gonna do it throughout the summer and I couldn't, John was in the hospital. And then I was, we were here, you know? And then everything started school and everything happening. But now that she's here, I'm gonna take a full advantage of it and I'm going, her and I are gonna go out and have a girl day. I'm looking forward to it. So look forward to that video in the next one of you guys. So I will see you all on the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.